by all means, let's hear it. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with alternating between Skyrim videos and Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, or at least hopefully I am, as this year 2021 closes out. This next adventure overall is under Daedra's best friend, and it starts when you meet Barbas in the woods outside of Falkreath, and you have to reunite him with his master, Clovius Vile, or Clavicus Vile, whatever. He's a Daedra. And you have to go to, once you agree to help him, you have to go to Hamar's Shame. And, well, that's where the adventure begins. You have to travel to another location, and I'll get, the, get to that within this video. So let's start Daedra's best friend. When you agree to meet or help Barbas, you have to go to Hamar's Shame, which is south of Riverwood near, yeah, right here, Hamar's Shame. I already explored the location, so it's just going to be a quick, fast travel from where I'm at to get into Hamar's Shame. So let's jump over there here. And again, I'm over by Markarth, or yeah, Markarth, I believe. And yeah, let's get back and jump over to Hamar's Shame and fast travel. Now, you got to walk your way through this dungeon. It's pretty extensive. It's loaded with vampires. Now, Clavis Vile, well, he makes the deals of, um, I'm dying of a disease, and it's painful, and I want to be cured. Well, his cure is, you're dead. That's what Clavis Vile is and does. So, really, you're making a bargain with him, and it can be, how shall we say, a very bad bargain for your character. Once I enter Hamar's Shame, I usually like to sneak in. There is a guard of sorts, and I can't see him, so I'm going to switch to the bow and first-person view. He has, or she, has realized my character has entered and is looking. There she is, Vampire Thrall. So, yeah, quick takedown. I'm going to fast forward through my exploration and search to get to the next event in order to cut down on time and load time for YouTube. The next encounter here, ah, sneak is increased. There are some vampire thralls and vampire fledglings. Uh, actually, I think it's just a vampire fledgling. I've taken her down. There's this trip button, but I'm going to get my arrows back that I shot, and that activates a trap. So I'm going to fast forward again to the next encounter. You come to this area, and there is a vampire and the vampire thralls. They're on multiple levels. And I'm just going to snipe this person on the second. Now I'm going to take this guy down. And let's see what happens. Thank you. 
okay, I had killed the vampire Thrall, and the vampire had reanimated him. When a person is reanimated, when you kill them, they turn to ash. Now, I'm going to check to see, nope, I didn't get infected with Senger or whatever the disease is that vampires spread because I have a amulet now that increases my character's disease resistance. I believe I showed in dual enchanting armor at some point. Again, I'm going to just fast forward through the exploration here. Always check nooks and crannies and always loot. That's how you get money. Okay, in this area you have more vampires and thralls. And, well, this guy coming at me right away. Uh, I wasn't too good at sneaking, but I think I can take him down. Yeah, the vampire's shooting me. I'm getting back. Yeah, I hate magic users. Never been good at using magic. There's the vampire. Yeah, I take her down. And take down the other vampire here. And we can see where things go. Yep, good kill here. Take down the vampire. When you get down to the lower level, there's like a desk area. This actually has some good treasure in the form of potions and a skill level book. You want to just kind of search this desk area out. And there's your skill book. It would increase something, but I've already read a similar book. That's what I kind of don't like about Skyrim is they have multiple copies of skill books around. And once you've read one, if there's another, you're not gaining any more skill. It sort of makes sense, but again, it's one of my complaints. As you can tell, we transitioned to another level. This is easy. A spider, yeah, not a problem anymore. Don't forget to check the egg sacks and get some spider eggs to make some uh, nasty potions. Okay, you come to this room shortly after the spider. There's really nothing here. It's kind of a torture room. There is an arcanum enchanter, if you can, or arcane enchanter, and you can, well, disenchant or enchant items if you have certain uh, soul gems. Banish is always a good enchantment on any weapon. It gets you the maximum price. A little further on down the tunnels, you come across a person, one of the vampire thralls, easy enough to take down. And you can continue on to possibly the main mission. This is the main part of the mission. Barbas is distracting the vampires and the thralls. So you can either attack them and help out or let Barbas do his job. I'm going to try and take these guys out. Maybe up, oh, they see me. Now to fight back. Let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Ah, oh, that insufferable pup! Forget it! Request denied! No deal! 
I'm glad to be rid of it. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe. But no promises. There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. You have to take Barbas and retrieve the Rueful Axe. Now, I didn't open the main chest, but I'm going to open it now. There's not really a lot here. Now you pull this chain, and it'll let you out the back entrance. I'm going to cut to where Barbas and I get to the next area we're supposed to get to. Rhyme Rock Burrow is your next destination. It's a very short mission. But if you haven't found it, then you have to take Barbas and locate it and, well, kill the magic user that has the Rueful Axe. The magic user is relatively weak, and now that the Rueful Axe is recovered, you don't want to leave immediately. There's an arcane enchanter here. Uh, nothing for me to disenchant or enchant. I think don't have any. Yeah, I got a grand soul gem. I don't want to use it. But there is a cave over here that Barbus is blocking, and this is where the magic user lived. And you can loot his stuff and the master chest. There's probably some decent stuff. Again, I'm just going to fast forward and get to the next part. Ah, oh, you've got the axe. And my dog. Splendid. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, Matt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. 
You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. If you don't kill Barbus, you get the mask of Clavius Vile. And it's a pretty good um, artifact. 20% better, plus 10 speech. It's not bad. You can kill Barbus and keep the axe, but I chose not to. Um, that's Daedra's best friend. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week and you don't want to miss out. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And thanks for stopping by.